In this video, we will be delving into a family pedigree and breaking down the genotypes and phenotypes presented. Genotypes are an organism's makeup of a trait, while a phenotype is the trait that is seen. The shown pedigree is from my maternal family displaying the dominant trait of mid-digital hair. Since this trait is dominant, a majority of my family members have this phenotype. A dominant trait is a trait that if carried by a parent, then their child will more than likely have this trait. Take a look at your fingers. Do you see hair on the middle segments of your fingers? If yes, congratulations, you have mid-digital hair. Scientists, as revealed by the article Myths of Human Genetics, also say that an individual can possess this trait and not have the physical hair on their fingers, but just have the follicles in place. The presence of the hair is neither helpful or harmful to the individual. Let's take a closer look and break down some of the genotypes shown in this pedigree. First, let's go over the key in order to fully understand the pedigree. In this pedigree, capital H stands for the dominant trait for having mid-digital hair, while lowercase h represents the recessive trait of not having mid-digital hair. The pink shading represents the possession of the mid-digital hair trait, and a recessive trait is a trait that is weak and is not likely as likely as a dominant trait to get passed down to an offspring. To start off, my grandma Delia has a genotype of capital H, lowercase h, and a phenotype of having mid-digital hair. The reason for this genotype is because three out of her four children have mid-digital hair. If she were to have a genotype of two uppercase H's, then there would be no possibility of having a child without mid-digital hair. My, man, my aunt Monica is the only child of my grandparents that does not possess the trait. This makes her have a genotype of lower, two lowercase H's. Even though her siblings possess this trait, not having it is made possible by both my grandparents having a genotype of an uppercase H and a lowercase H. My grandparents were able to pass down both of the recessive uh, alleles to her. My brother Ren also does not have mid-digital hair, despite my, both my mom and I possessing the trait. His genotype is two lowercase h's. The reason behind us having differing genotypes and phenotypes is my dad, Tim, having two lowercase h's and my mom, Brenda, having an uppercase h and a lowercase a genotype. My parents were also able to pass on the recessive alleles to my br brother so he would not possess this trait while I am heterozygous receiving the dominant allele of a uppercase H giving me the trait as well as lowercase h. My uncle Peter has two possible genotypes of up two uppercase H's as well as the possibility of having an uppercase H and a lowercase h genotype. His genotype is not definite because the, although he has the presence of mid-digital hair, it is unknown if my grandparents passed down two dominant alleles or just one dominant allele and one recessive. This also shows the two ways that it is possible to pass down the dominant trait. If the trait were recessive, there would be only two, one possible genotype, which would be having two lowercase h's. Since Peter does not have children, it cannot be seen if the trait was potentially passed down to the child. In the case of my cousins Emilio, Xander, and Natalia, they also have two, upper, two possible genotypes of two uppercase H's, as well as the possibility of having an uppercase H and a lowercase H genotype. For this example, since both my uncle Jesse and Aunt Lisette both have the mid-digital hair trait, there is the same issue presented with the dominant traits and how there are two genotypes that can pass down the trait. Since my, since my grandparents both have an uppercase H and a lowercase H genotype, it is possible that either two dominant alleles or one dominant and one recessive allele were passed down to my Aunt Lisette. Since Jesse's family data is not documented and presented, it makes distinguishing the definite genotype more difficult. Having this information would give more clarity and provide more information to define the children's actual genotype. 